So Blender Challenge 3 is to create a communication device in Blender and then to texture it uh, any way that you want to. Um, the deadline for this challenge is coming up uh, on Sunday, October the 25th. That's about four days away. And I'm not certain I'm going to actually complete the challenge. And it's my challenge uh, just with kids and car issues and dogs and, and all of that. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot anyhow. And this is my cassette player. This is my communication device. And I'm going to do a little bit more work on the cassette player. And then I'm going to leave it at that. All right. So um, I'm going to keep going here with a couple more items that I need to put in here. And one of those items is going to show up. Uh, where am I? Back here. So let's bring the 3D cursor there. And I'm going to bring in a cube, scale it way down uh, into that position roughly. I'm going to scale this in the X and pull it back. And I want something like this. Let's get rid of that back face. in here and uh, let's pull that back like that and this thing is going to let's see let's make it a little narrower or less tall whatever something like that Go ahead and put a bevel on that. Oops, not that. Let's do zero point zero one, and I'm actually going to throw in an edge loop to tighten it like that. And there we go. And let's put that around the wheel, and we will mirror that. Kind of would feel a bit better if they were more like that. All right, let's come in here now. And I think I'm going to, uh, well, let's do this. Let's take that and bring a 3D cursor right there. And I'm going to bring in a cylinder. I'll go for 18. Like that. Scale it down and make the structure that turns the turns the tape itself. I'm gonna take the top and control B and I'm gonna roll it up like this. I'm gonna take this part here and let's just extrude it up, maybe scale it a bit. I might uh, put a put a small bevel there of one. And we'll do a subdivision surface later. Um, if I skip two, I want to see if I get uh, six of these. One, two, three, yeah, I think so. So I'm going to E and Alt S, and I'm going to push. Uh, let's actually take the whole thing out. Then I am going to, what do I do? Let's take the top edge of each of these. And pull it down a little bit like this. Let's go for a control one, we'll try that.
never be seen anyhow. Whatever. We'll put it in. Now what I need to do, I think, is to uh, actually those need to be a little bit longer. Where where'd you go? Let's just focus on this guy and a couple more adjustments here. here we'll take both of those and we will uh, just focus on that so these guys here and we're gonna bring this back a little ways and then we're gonna take these Just like that, and then this one will rotate in the Z, and it's basically like that. Keys like that, pretty much. So, what I'm going to do is let's rejoin these together. And this, I'm going to take off the subdivision surface. I don't think I'm going to need that. And so, let's join those together and I'll get it. I'll get the same color of that. really you're not going to see it very well so so I'm going to do the same thing on uh, this side I'm going to take this and this and bring it over then we'll take that Z a little bit let's make sure we go back to medium point So we got those and we got that. And let's just have a look over here. And make sure. Let's get rid of that. Now we are okay. Let's put that on again. All right. So we got those and we got those. And I think I decided that I want to just scale this a tiny bit like that, scale that in the Z and bring it in just a little bit like that and even that. Okie doke. Let's make sure that all our Oh, polys are flipped the right way. And that's one good way of doing it. And let's take the tape, Alt N, recalculate outside. And let's take all this, recalculate outside, and this. Wrong thing, that. Selected, Alt N, recalculate outside. And everything is facing out that needs to face out. Maybe I did. Mm. 
And I'll start with that. Um, okay. So what do I want to do here? Let's put an edge loop there and control B. Bring another one down here. Let's take these ones there. Let's scale those in the X. Is this what I want to do? Not like that, it isn't. No, it isn't. Um, what I want to do is I want to get rid of that face. where you can lift it up from so let's uh, Stop the modeling after this. Um, let's, uh, let's just bring that down here. Uh, let's do M at center, merge at center. Uh, let's do this. point snap to vertex I'll snap it over there make a face there edges and try a small small bevel on these I'll roll my mouse back and just a couple let's see how far we can get to without breaking this thing just like this and then uh, let's 
focus on that. Take these bottom faces and get rid of them. Bring that back and then bring you down. There's a small chance that I would be able to give this a top bevel without breaking it again, like I said, to catch a bit more light. How's it look? Straight smoothed. And can I do anything for that? That's my cassette right there, cassette player. And I think I'm gonna call that thing done. All right, so that's how to uh, model a cassette player and tape <laughs> one way. And I will uh, texture this and put it into the challenge and we'll see how it turns out. So stay tuned.